Here's one of my favorite buddies. This is abdominal aorta man. And in order to get to abdominal aorta man, we should be able to see Frank's abdominal aorta, and we definitely can see Linda's. And in order to get there, we have to leave the heart. We have to make it past the aortic arch. Do you agree with that? We have to get through the aortic arch, and then we actually have to descend. And first part is the descending thoracic aorta, and so forgive the fact that I'm just drawing the descending thoracic aorta right through the middle of my heart, but you can imagine that that is my arch turns into the descending thoracic aorta. How long is it considered the thoracic aorta? As long as it's in the thoracic cavity. And so what separates the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity? The diaphragm. So now as soon as I pass through, as soon as the descending thoracic aorta passes through the diaphragm, it is now the abdominal aorta. And at this stage, I'm going to change how I've been drawing everything, and I'm going to draw a giant tube. And you know that your descending abdominal aorta is huge. It's, it's a huge vessel. So there's a reason that we call this giant vessel the abdominal aorta man. And look at how cool this is. He actually is a man. Look. What? Oh, and you might be thinking, well, how do you know he's a man and not a woman? Uh-huh. Now do you have any questions? No. Let's label, oh, no, I, I'm going to add them all in for you. Look. For real, there are two vessels that come off right here. For real, here's another vessel. No joke, another one. Really? We're going to label them in a second. But of course, you have to have nipples. You cannot be abdominally or a man without nipples. And what are we missing? A belly button. Are you ready to label them? Some of these you do not have to know. And, but we have to draw you the whole picture. For example, the esophageal arteries. Really? What happened to my pen? The eyeballs are the esophageal arteries. Somebody, somebody, somebody somewhere. Let's try it. My light is flashing. My pen isn't working. The esophageal arteries are the eyeballs, and you can imagine what they are fueling. The nose is called the celiac artery. Celiac artery. And it actually fuels the liver, the spleen, and the stomach. Who's the mouth? The mouth is the superior mesenteric artery. Superior mesenteric. And the superior mesenteric artery fuels the small intestine. Who do you think the big guys are? I'm going to give you a hint. I can't help it. Who's that? The kidney. So these arteries are renal arteries. And you can imagine that if we're fueling the kidneys with renal arteries, we're actually going to return the blood via renal veins, and that, that works. Um, nipples, what are the nipples? Who are my friendly nipples? Mm, this one should be easy. These are gonadal um, arteries, which means in the fellas, they're testicular arteries, and in the ladies, they're ovarian arteries. And then my belly button is the inferior 
mesenteric artery. And the inferior mesenteric artery does um, some small intestine and the large intestine. So probably the uh, ileum of the small intestine and, most, and all of the large intestine. Who's this guy? We don't have to know this. This is the, the median sacral artery. I'm not even going to write it down because we definitely don't have to know it. The legs are, and, and we'll talk about these guys when we get to the lower limb, but this is the common iliac artery. So each one is a common iliac artery. The common iliac artery actually branches, and I'm just going to save that and do that with lower limb. There was something that I was going to tell you. The next section that we're going to go into is um, the hepatic portal system, and that deals with blood flow from abdominal aorta man to the liver and the, um, the intestines and the stomach where we're absorbing nutrients. So we have some, some special stuff going on with the hepatic portal system. So we're going to see these guys again in just a minute. Do I need to tell you um, who has veins that mimic these guys? They pretty much all do. We have gonadal veins that drain, but are they draining into the abdominal aorta? No, they're draining into the descending vena cava. So it is, but it's, it mirrors and doesn't warrant drawing a whole new picture. I'll be right back to talk about the hepatic portal system.